All right, guys, I'm back. You probably can't tell, <laughs> but I had a fucking hangover this morning. Merry Christmas. Uh, this is my Shadowfall uh, Varietal Beer Co. little camp mug. has some iced coffee in it. Doing different things this morning. I'm just trying to get over this hangover. Gonna try to get a quick shave in because I got shit to do. This is Highland Springs Soap Company Havana Vieja. This is in their vegan formula. I didn't get too creative this morning because I am hungover. <laughs> so we're gonna be using the same brush that I had out the Moon Soaps by Kent Designs with the AP Shape Go Cashmere Synthetic. That is what the soap looks like. Very dark. This one is a sweet tobacco, vanilla, has some spices in it. It, it, it just smells delicious. I'm gonna be doing a face lather here. Something that you don't see often on this channel. But I remember the last time I did a face lather, it was with um, Havana Vieja. At least I think it was. So this puck has been, um, tainted I guess you could say looks like it's holding up well though doesn't look like it's um uh, any signs of it going bad I always used to um, face lather and lather up in the container and when I was done I would go ahead and um, leave it out overnight so it got like 24 hours or more to completely air out and dry out and then I would close it up and put it away. So it's pretty. I always, I'm just loading heavy because I'd rather have too much than not enough. Go ahead and wet the face a little bit. I'm also just keeping it simple with the razor. I'm going with the Rockwell 6S. <clears throat> um, on the 5 plate. That of course is in the six shady colorway lord shady or joey as many are starting to get to know him he uh sent that to me as a gift a while back um and i couldn't be more thankful for that and all the gifts that i've gotten from other community members just fucking awesome this community God damn, this Havana Veja smells good. It's not, you know, marketed as like a holiday soap or a Christmas themed whatsoever, but it definitely smells good. I feel like it fits perfectly for the holidays. <clears throat> Seems like maybe I didn't get enough. Who knows? This isn't my uh, this isn't my jam. It looks perfectly hydrated though. Like, like maybe I don't need to add more. But after I go back to the puck here, maybe I will have to add more water. That is. <clears throat> here I am trying to make this. A quick shave and my <laughs> inability to uh, face lather might end up making this a longer than normal shave, who knows. Maybe we will add a little bit of water. It's been a while since I've used the uh, Highland Springs vegan base. I, uh, I remember the other times that I've used it it was really good but of course I I bowl lathered and I think I face lathered the other time too that's a little bit better that'll get us get us going anyways <clears throat> stuff smells great I actually think it's pretty spot-on for a holiday scent but it's just a banger year-round 
The uh, Rockwell is like my second favorite. Um, safety razor. It probably, it, it definitely has um, competition now. That charcoal razors or charcoal goods, I should say. Um, level two head is really giving this one a run for its money. All I got is the head, so I don't really. I don't got like the full package. I don't have like a charcoal handle and you know a charcoal head. I just have the the top cap and base plate. And then I threw it on an Alpha Shaving Company handle. And I think the combo looks great. So I'd say maybe that is um, tied for second with the Rockwell, but price-wise, you cannot go wrong with the Rockwell 6S. They have these different colorways now. I really wish that they would do a motherfucking um, customize your own Rockwell, where you could just pick from the different colors, the different metal offerings, and um, finishes that they have. That'd be so fucking cool. And like, <clears throat> I, I think it would be a good business move on their part too because you know they're cranking them out. I see their ads all the fucking time. Most people have used a Rockwa at this point. Like the customized option. I don't see any downside to it, you know? All right, let's add a little bit of water. Yeah, last night for <laughs> for Christmas Eve, we fucking tied one on, me and my uh, wife's family. We uh, definitely tied one on. And then this morning, <laughs> Kind of paid for it a little bit, did the whole puke and rally. Now I'm trying to, uh, I'm over the hump. And so I did my usual, <laughs> my usual, um, recovery steps. Forced myself to puke. <laughs> Fingers down the throat. Hella water. I just speed up the process. I don't fucking... <laughs> I don't sit there and try to fight it all day long. I just get right to the fucking recovery process. <clears throat> and I'm feeling alright. I'm coming up out of it. Th my voice is a little scratchy from throwing up. But if this isn't a fucking Rowden family <laughs> Christmas morning, I don't know what is. And I just know that when I get um, to my family, my little brother is going to want to fucking um, tie one on too. So I need to make this recovery happen quick. <laughs> We're going to deep fry a turkey. And that is going to be awesome. We don't have a ton of experience with um, deep frying the turkey. But we have done it before. And so we're going to take another crack at it. And then we're going to... I believe there's going to be a small ham. And just all the usual suspects. It's going to be a, a grand feast. And so now that my stomach's feeling a little bit better, I think I'll be... Uh, I'll be good to go when it comes time for a Christmas dinner. What that looks like. Looks like it could take a little bit more water there. So, I hope everybody else 
had a good Christmas Eve. Hope you guys have a good Christmas day, um, whether you're staying home or spending some time with family. I hope you got some cool shit, and I hope you were able to uh, make your friends and family happy with the gifts that you got them. I think I did all right. Me and the wife um, recently picked up one of those Peloton bikes, and so we were supposed to kind of take it easy for Christmas. But um, I didn't want her to feel like she had nothing to open on Christmas Day. And so I went and got her a pair of um, Burberry sunglasses. And they were... Um, buy a pair, get another pair, half off, and um, if they were polarized, then you were able to take $30 off the top of um, both pairs. And so I got her a Burberry one, and I got myself some Prada shades. Yes, I am that bougie. <laughs> I don't fuck around. It's not just a nickname. If I had the money, you wouldn't even recognize me with the fucking bougie shit I would buy. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just like nice things. <clears throat> Anyhow, so I guess it was kind of a win-win. And then I uh, paid to have a remote start put in her, in her vehicle, so... That's kind of cool, too. So I think she made out pretty well. There wasn't like a huge quantity of gifts, but I think the quality was pretty up there. And then she got me some... Uh, she got me the EDT from Chatelon Lux, that Admiral that I talk about every so often. Still on the look, still on the hunt, I should say, for the uh, soap and splash that Declaration Grooming did. Um, I talked to, to Declaration Grooming and Chatelon Lux and both say that there is no plans to remake Admiral because it was not a big hit in the wet shaving world. So that's a bummer. If you have Admiral and you're looking to get rid of it, fucking hit me up. I'll buy it in a heartbeat. <clears throat> but I really like that Admiral scent. Alright. And even though I'm not the best fucking face latherer, that uh, Highland Springs really did a good job. Gave me a nice, really slick platform to fucking work with and the Rockwell 6S is just kind of cruise control level easy, really intuitive, good for beginners. Even though that's the uh, the five plate, it's not super um, aggressive. It just gives you a nice, smooth, efficient shave. I'll wipe it down with the Lancaster, and we'll get into the matching aftershave. So yeah, I hope you guys have a good Christmas with your family. Sorry I didn't uh, do some fancy Christmas shave, but honestly I'm in a bit of a hurry and I'm dragging ass this morning because <laughs> I tied one on last night, so something is better than nothing, right? This is what you're getting. <laughs> That, that scent on Highland Springs is just, it's like, I think it's still trapped in my beard, but it's still lingering, and it is just so good. All right, I'll get the rest off cam. Whew. Take another drink. I'm 
need all the help I could get today. <laughs> all right, so we got Highland Springs matching aftershave there. Give it a little shake. You can see it's kind of a murky color. You know, nice waterproof labels. It is a plastic uh, bottle, which I wish they would get a glass bottle for it, but it's not the end of the world. It's the juice that counts. <clears throat> smell great. I don't know how long it's going to stick with me. I'm probably going to have to layer a cologne on top of it, which shouldn't be too hard to do. All right, guys. That was one hell of a shave. It was a very nice shave. BBS. And even though I suck at face lathering because I'm not practiced with it, haven't done it in a while, that did a pretty good job so thank you guys for watching i appreciate the support i hope you hope you have an excellent christmas day with your family friends loved ones and i'll catch you guys on the next one